the prosecutors, like her, are all DEI hires, diversity hires. There is something wonderfully poetic about the fact that despite the fact that even if convicted, he's not going to go to prison, the first person to actually criminally prosecute Donald Trump is a black Harvard grad. A diversity admission. Mark Dice absolutely shredded this host, this MSNBC host, Joy Reid, for admitting some very shocking things about black people and the fact that a lot of black people, including Joy Reid herself, are only hired because of diversity reasons and because of DEI and the rest of the nonsense that the woke side is trying to push. And Mark Dice is having none of it, obviously. Before we get into the video, I want to show you this thumbnail that Mark Dice put on this video. Absolutely hilarious. Let me know if you caught it before I point it out, but you can see there's a, there's a smoke detector right there that's going off, that's chirping. And listen closely throughout the video, you can hear some chirps, some smoke detector chirps. I find that <laughs> absolutely hilarious. Let me know if you get the joke in the comments or not. But anyway, let's get into Mark Dice absolutely shredding Joy Reid and these insane statements that Joy Reid is making over here on MSNBC. The political pundits and partisan hacks who call themselves journalists are, of course, thrilled that Donald Trump's first criminal trial has begun and will trap him in the courtroom for the next six to eight weeks, possibly even causing him to miss his son Barron's high school graduation. But Joy Reid, the angry black woman over at MSNBC who strangely wears a Donald Trump wig committing cultural appropriation, is extra excited because the merry band of misfit persecutors, the prosecutors, like her, are all DEI hires, diversity hires. There is something wonderfully poetic about the fact that despite the fact that even if convicted, he's not going to go to prison, the first person to actually criminally prosecute Donald Trump is a black Harvard grad. A diversity admission, just like Joy Reid, who admits that she was a diversity admission. It's wild how all these people care about is the race, the color of the person, the identity politics around what's happening. None of them actually care about the implications of what they're doing. They only care about, like, it, it, if you think about it, it's extremely racist. Like, all Joy Reid cares about, like Mark Dice is describing, is the fact that black people are prosecuting Donald Trump, a white person. That's it. That's all she cares about. She doesn't care about the actual implications, what this means for our country going forward, what this means for how our elections will work going forward. None of that. You know, she doesn't care about if the country would be better off if Donald Trump was president or Joe Biden or anyone else was president. She doesn't care about any of that. She cares about the identity politics involved, the fact that black women are per prosecuting black or white men. That's it. And she's happy with it. She's happy about it. And like Mark Dice is saying, it's an admission that all these people or diversity hires, because all anybody on this woke side of things cares about is race and gender and the rest of the woke talking points. The very kind of person that his former staff, the people who worked for him, Stephen Miller, et cetera, want to never be at Harvard uh, Law School. Well, if they don't qualify, then yeah, you shouldn't be allowed in positions because you happen to have a certain skin color or because of something bad that happened to a certain group of people 150 years ago. Not even just you shouldn't be allowed if you have a certain skin color. You shouldn't be not allowed because you have a certain skin color either. That's called segregation or racism, you know, and I'm not even just talking about <laughs> I'm not even just talking about white people. I'm talking about when these when these Ivy League schools that are letting in all these other minorities because in the name of diversity, just just because they have a certain skin color, even though they have worse grades, they have worse GPAs, they have worse SATs, they have worse everything. They're losing spots. Asian people are losing spots because there's so many Asians there. They need diversity. We hear those stories all the time now. Or like Asian people, you know, they don't get into certain schools and, and then their their black friends or their Latin friends will get in over them, even though they have worse grades, worse SAT scores, everything. We hear those stories all the time now. So it's like, it's not even just about certain people not getting jobs because they are a certain skin color or certain people getting jobs because they are a certain skin color. It's also about the people who are missing out on the jobs because they also happen to have a different skin color that is hated by the book side. But he was, and he came out and graduated. He's prosecuting you, Donald. And a black woman is doing that same exact thing in Georgia. And a black woman forced you to pay a $175 million fine that's out now also in question because the people who put it up, that might not be legit. If you enjoy content like this and make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel it really does help me out a ton let's get back to the video and 
Alvin Bragg is black. It just goes on and on. Fannie Willis, black, diversity hire. Donald Trump is being held to account by the very multicultural, multiracial democracy that he's trying to dismantle. And for me, there's something poetic <laughs> and actually. <laughs> Dude. The smoke detector beeps get me every single time. Wonderful about that. It hmm. says something good about our country that we're still capable of having that happen. Go DEI. My DEIs are bringing it home. Go DEI, she says, because the open secret is out now that none of those people would actually be in the positions that they're in if they were hired because of their merits, because of their skills, because of their qualifications. They were all diversity hires. And this is how Orwellian things have gotten. If you accurately describe Joy Reid as the angry black woman over on MSNBC, that is in and of itself considered to be racist. There's an entire Wikipedia page that will be used as the evidence of your supposed racism, which says that the angry black woman stereotype is a racial stereotype of black American women as pugnacious, poorly mannered, and aggressive. Well, why would people come up with such a ridiculous idea? The diet don't work for you the same. Would you mind, Joy, <laughs> admitting again, for those in my audience who haven't heard it directly from the horse's mouth, the obvious and only reason why you somehow mysteriously went to Harvard? Well, let, let me just be clear. I got into Harvard only because of affirmative action. I went to a school no one had ever heard of in Denver, Colorado, in a small suburb. I didn't go. I want you guys to listen closely at what she's saying right there. Obviously, she said she got into Harvard only because of affirmative action. That's going to be very, very important here in one second, but I'm going to point out something else. Go to Exeter or Andover. Yeah, I didn't right. have college test prep. I just happened to be really nerdy and smart and have really good grades and good SAT scores. Right. But someone came to Denver, Colorado to look for me. Obviously, they wanted more diversity, which is a code word for less white people. The first like week or two that I was in class, my presence was questioned by white people. I was in this big conference class mm. where some white students st stood up and said, those students, the black students, they're only here because of affirmative action. It became a huge argument. Okay, number one, I remember covering this exact clip whenever it first came out. I think it was maybe six or so months ago. This didn't happen. This never happened. I don't believe it for a second. Let me know in the comments. Do you believe that this ever happened to Joy Reid where she was at Harvard in her first week or two that was randomly at Harvard University? At Harvard, an Ivy League school, white students stood up and said, and pointed at Joy Reid and said, you don't belong here. Like, dude, there's no shot that someone is throwing away their probable, probable scholarship to Harvard, which at the time that Joy Reid was going to school was probably the best school in the nation, you know? And at that time, if you got a, you know, a degree from Harvard, it was kind of like a ticket, you know, a golden ticket. So I highly doubt that would happen. But even if it did, and let me know in the comments if you believe it, I don't believe it for a second. Even if it did, let's give her the benefit of the doubt that that did happen. They're right. And you just admitted it a few seconds ago. Mark Dice pointed it out. You said, Joy Reid said, I only got into Harvard because of affirmative action. They came to Denver, Colorado and sought me out only because of my skin color, because they need more diversity. And like Mark Dice said, meaning less white people. That's the only reason why you got in. You admitted it. You self-admitted it. And then you're mad because other people are pointing it out, which again, never actually happened. I refuse to believe even for a second that that ever did happen. Argument that we all ended up having. This was freshman year. Well, yes, that was the only reason why you were there. And of course she blames them for being racist against her for noticing the facts. <laughs> We got some imaginary sexism going on this week, too, because Caitlin Clark, one of the big superstars of the NCAA Women's Basketball Champion. Yeah, I really just I, I can't care anymore about this nonsense with the, you know, women should get paid the same as men in sports. It's like you're you're ridiculous. You know, you're absolutely it's, it's ridiculous to say that it's a, it's a dumb statement. Anybody who says that is just. You know, talking with their emotions and not talking with facts and logic. You all, you just have to look at the laws of supply and demand. Obviously, you know the 
the money that's brought in by the WNBA is nowhere near the NBA. The money that's brought in by any women's sport is not going to be near the men's sport because they're not as good as sports. And I'm tired of trying to argue with people who say that they are. I'm done with the argument. It's a stupid one. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you're thinking about Mark Dice absolutely shredding Joy Reid and the ridiculous statements that MSNBC host Joy Reid made on her show about DEI and, and black people pros or yeah, prosecuting Trump, all this other nonsense that Mark Dice absolutely shredded. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking about the whole situation. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and hope to see you guys on the next one.